Most power plants require a circulating water system to transfer the waste heat generated by steam cycle into the ambient environment. Recently, three kinds of pipe materials have been used widely, these are steel, glass-reinforced epoxy, and HDPE materials. The manufacture and production of HDPE pipe and accessories required for the project are carried out onshore. The individual lengths are fused into a long string of pipe using trained personnel and appropriate equipment. Upon completion of the heat fusing of an added individual length to the pipeline, the resultant longer pipe string is further moved into water. The pipelines are towed to the site using tugboats which travels with the speed under 7-8 knots and a 1 knot per minute acceleration. The pipeline is positioned in the designated route by the use of tugboats. The inmost end is connected to the flange and there must be an entry pipe so that seawater can be allowed to enter during sinking. The outmost end is fitted with a hose connected to the compressor to serve controlling air pressure inside the pipe if required. The flooding of the pipe start by opening one of the valves for inflow of water, and as the water flows into the pipe, the inshore end becomes sink down to rest on the seabed. Initial stage of the sinking shows an inverse J figure, and continuous inflow of water inside of the pipe leads gradually to the shape of S-band configuration. The configuration of the pipeline is controlled to maintain curvature above 60 OD using the valve and pulling force. It is very important that pull on the offshore is maintained to prevent the sudden significant increase of curvature to the pipe. Maintaining the pull force applied at the offshore end will control the buckling failure to the pipe. When the air in the pipe are fully evacuated and the offshore end of the pipe is fully submerged, the pulling force applied is gradually reduced until the offshore end of pipe reaches the seabed and the installation of the pipe could be said to be successful. The sinking analysis model consists of HDPE pipeline, concrete collar, buoyancy tank and winch. As Orcaflex is limited to simulate change of pipe content from empty to flooded condition, pipeline is modeled as flooded status with seawater in the beginning, but attached additional buoyancy tanks to compensate the initial flooded water weight inside the pipe. Analysis was then performed by removing the attached buoyancy tanks which could simulate sinking of HDPE pipeline in the offshore site. <music>